Budget Blinds. Visit their showroom or call today for a free in-home consultation. Well, that's been a, a collaborative effort. Both provincial governments and the Lloydminster Region Health Foundation have been working together for years to make the new Prairie North Health Center a reality. The $2.8 million primary care facility started serving patients last March, but today officials and members of the public attended a ribbon-cutting ceremony. Our Jeremy Thompson was there and has more. After years of fundraising, lobbying and planning, it's time to celebrate for this crowd gathered in the Prairie North Plaza. This new health centre will supplement existing facilities and is designed to be lean and efficient. So it gives them the proper care instead of just going to the ER and uh, maybe bogging down that system. But it's basically giving the community members the care that, that they need. Saskatchewan Minister Greg Ottenbright and Alberta MLA Jessica Littlewood are pleased to see the project completed. Alberta Health pitched in $550,000, while Saskatchewan's contribution totals about $1.7 million. It's great to see this happening, whereas we saw in the past facilities being closed and we're seeing new facilities open in a province that's growing. So it's, it's great to be a part of that. The health centre is truly modern, with movable walls for inexpensive layout changes and examination rooms with large beds and the space and equipment to lift patients out of wheelchairs. The service is modern too, offering extended after hours and weekend care. It's important that we have after hours care so that people aren't using the wrong resources at hospitals to be able to take care of issues that aren't necessarily correctly addressed in those situations at much higher costs to the provinces. Mayor Rob Saunders says this health centre will also help attract and retain physicians, something Lloyd Minster has struggled with in the past. Three to five years ago where we were short at least 10 doctors in our community, uh, now we're in a position where people should all have access to a physician in our community. That community includes the surrounding area, which is why the Saskatchewan Ministry of Health is putting up $550,000 every year for doctors to visit patients out in Onion Lake. It saves them a trip in and uh, it saves some uh, stress and pressure on the emergency ward as well. With the ribbon officially cut, the real work of caring for residents can continue. Jeremy Thompson, Newcap News. Yeah, moving on to local news now, there are two more animals featured for adoption in this week's pet project. Barney's a dog who came in with a bullet fragment in his leg and had to have the leg amputated. And Susie's a two-year-old cat who just loves attention. Here's John from the SPCA. Barney, a two-year-old Labrador cross, came to us as a stray on January 2nd. Within a few minutes of his arrival, it became apparent that he was limping on his right front leg. He was immediately taken to the veterinarian for x-rays. It was discovered that Barney had received a bullet to his leg and that there were still fragments in it. Due to the severity of the injury, it was determined that Barney had to have his leg removed and on Friday his leg was amputated. Barney is now recovering well and despite receiving major surgery, is in extremely good spirits. This handsome fellow wants nothing more than to find his forever friend and get the unconditional love he deserves. If you would like to help animals like Barney receive the surgery that they need, you can donate to our Injured Animal Fund by visiting our website, LloydMinisterSPCA.com. She may be two years old, but don't tell that to Susie. This beautiful snowshoe cat is full of energy and love. She'll do almost anything to get your attention, whether it's pawing you as you walk by or doing cartwheels in her kennel. This girl just loves to clown around. Susie has been with us since October and would love nothing more than to find a home where she can truly let her personality shine. Due to her big personality, Susie would be best suited to a home where she is the only pet. She also would prefer a home with older children as she wants to be the center of attention. She doesn't want to share the limelight with the younger ones. If you're looking for a cat that will give you years of happiness and entertainment, you really can't go wrong with Susie. Stop by the SPCA and meet her today. <laughs> 